days go by These days all I'm trying to know is who I am Don't know why it's been hard for me to stay in one place Yeah, days go by I've been trying to run away from what I know I don't know where I'm going But I do know why all right. Got a backwood on for the big old smoke <sighs> I'm, uh, I'm leaving Chicago. It's absolutely crazy thinking I've already lived here for a year. One of the fastest, most exciting years of my life. And it's crazy that, yeah, I'm already, I'm already moving out. It's wild to think how much I've changed in one year. I think back to where I was at January 15th when I moved into this exact apartment. And I feel like I'm a completely different person now. I'm in a completely different phase of my life. And 12 months, well, it doesn't seem like that long of a time. A lot can happen. I've been looking up, I've been looking down. Yeah. Even with the parties trying to look around. At the bottom of a cup, trying not to drown. Yeah, think I'm getting... Moving is one of my least favorite things in the world to do. Having to pack up all your stuff, and it's just heavy, it's a pain in the ass. It's not fun at all. For something I absolutely hate to do, I do it quite often. I was thinking about it, and this is the... This is my 10th place I've lived in the past five, six years. So, in the past five, six years, I've moved 10 times, which is absolutely ridiculous. But I'm hoping the next place that I settle down in is a little more permanent. Honestly, one of the things that sucks most about moving so much is nowhere really starts to feel like home. You know, this apartment for the first five, six months, I was traveling a lot, I wasn't here a lot. I didn't really settle in, so it didn't feel like home. And then finally, call it October, November, I got some more decorations, and I kind of customized it more to my liking, and it finally started to feel like home. And then, here we are moving out again and starting all over. I be changing up the crib every quarter. I got tired of not living how I wanna. I'ma make this shit as big as I wanna. I get lost on my way to the kitchen in the morning. Somewhere in the hills of Montana. Baby got a heal from the traumas. Mailbox filled up with calm. There's one good thing about moving is I think it's a good chance to take inventory of your life. See all the things you have, figure out what you need to keep and what you don't. This bag probably has 30 or 40 shirts, sweatshirts, whatnot, that when I was cleaning out my closet, I realized that's been sitting in my closet for a year and I haven't worn it once. It's probably a good time to uh, get rid of it and donate it. Same with this Lego set that I thought I was going to build again. Odds are, if you haven't worn it or used it in a year, you're not going to use it again. We're getting close. It's been an exhausting day. It's never... Never easy tearing down an entire house and packing it up, but we're on the final stretch. Just, just odds and ends stuff laying around everywhere, which is pretty annoying, but we're close, so feeling good about that. Movers are coming tomorrow at nine to do like my bed and my couch and dressers and stuff like that. So that at least will be done by someone else. I don't quite want to reveal where I'm moving to next, but it's incredibly exciting and it's going to be super cool. And uh, I'm definitely going to make a video about it, but um, I'm nervous. It's somewhere brand new that I've never lived before, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, just, just got to get together the odds and ends things at this point, and then um, tomorrow's the big day. Headed back to Cleveland for now.
bad. Drinking mono rice down in Old Town, babe. We're uh, basically done. This apartment is, for the most part, empty. Um, man, hiring movers was the greatest decision I ever made. They got the big stuff out of here in like 20 minutes. It was absolutely insane. But uh, yeah, it's a bittersweet moment out of this apartment. A lot of memories here, a lot of videos filmed here, just a lot of, a lot of stuff happened here. And so it's crazy leaving it for the last time, but uh, you know, just a few small things to back up and then off to Cleveland. Oh man, I'm exhausted. We are finally departing Chicago. What a long day, but uh, yeah, got a five and a half hour drive ahead of me, so that'll be a good time. Haven't driven that long in a, quite a while, so gonna throw on some podcasts and music and try to enjoy it as much as I can. Me and my, me and my friends, me and my friends, me and my friends are like blood dog. Kill my plans, butter my pants, like a sad.